What's up homies, Golden Prodigy here, showing you how to get the homie pack, uh, Sly Foxhound's, uh, new pack that he put out, so, I'll put the link to the description, you just click here, and it'll bring you to this media fire page, just download that, and let's get started. So first thing you're going to want to do is find your Minecraft application, and just right click, show package contents, now this is essential for modding, uh, with the Mac. So, anytime you're going to do a mod, you have to do this, but if you just do it here, you won't need to do it later. So just scroll down on info p list and you'll see you will see this on this one line, the string line. So what you have to do is change that to a 6 plus and save. You click save. I already have it. So next thing you're going to want to do is find your Java application stub. So to do that, I'll put this, you just click Command Shift G, and this, I'll put this in the description. Just click Go, and it'll take you here. So, next thing you're going to want to do is open back here package contents, and just drag your Java application stuff into the Mac OS. Place it, or if you don't have it, just drag it in there. So, next, we're going to put the Homey Pack in. So, First, locate your Minecraft folder. So, library application support, find Minecraft. Now, what you're going to want to do is, like he said, either save whatever you have in here, because we're just going to delete that whole entire folder. So, into the trash. And you're going to want to open up Minecraft and sign in. I heart Jesus. I am failing. Alright, there we go. And this will create the packages into your Minecraft folder. And just quit that. And here is your Minecraft bin. Now compress this. Double click it. You can erase these two. Drag them into the trash. Now rename this by pressing return. And you have to name it .jar and add. So that's that. Now let's go back to the Minecraft folder itself and open up the homie pack. So just unzip it. Now this is a lot different than what for Windows. Alright, so don't follow this if you guys have Windows. But also if it's not working for Windows, I guess you could do the same way. So here we are. So just drag these two config and mods in there. Now for the resources, press that. If you're going to want to do this all manually, you can drag the mod right in there. Alright, so go to ambient. i do these for both. Cave, cave. And just drag all of these into there. And apply to all. Now, go back and just drag weather in there alright let's go back now you're gonna have to do this individually for each one but right now we're just gonna drag them all in there alright so like that go back for this now you should be done with this folder alright now to the minecraft folder so we'll just go to Minecraft.jar. Now, first thing you're going to want to do is delete your meta INF, like that. Now, this is the long part. It's a lot different from uh, the Windows version, but this is for the Mac homies. So, what you're going to want to do is do each of these individually, go into each folder. I'm not sure if I'll show all of it, but I might cut forward to the end. So, just like this, you have to go to Armor, Armor. And just drag all of these into there. Apply to all. And there are some folders that are not in here, so those you just drag in, like Nandiant, this one, and org, wood. Just follow what I'm doing, and it should work. If you're having any problems, just put them in the comment section below. This, I think I'm going to put this as a video response, but now for Paul's code, just find it, and IBXM, you just have to drag all of these into the Minecraft.jar. 
and let's see. All right, and the rest of them you just have to drag them in. So art, find art here, and just keep cleaning it up by kind to make it easier. So I'll just drag this any in there, and I guess we'll just do the rest. All right, the item. This is the boring part. So once you guys finish this, you can just do that right away. And also, I just like to add that this is compatible with the current version of um, Pokemobs. So you guys can watch the video that I posted how to install that on my channel. And finally, just all these stock classes, you just drag those into the bin folder, into the Minecraft.jar folder. And apply to all. Now, that should be it for the mod pack. Let's just see if it works. Alright, sign in. Alright, let's hope this works. And I'll show you guys that Pokemon does work with it. Just create a new world, see if we can find anything real quick. I don't know if I added before, but if you do this wrong, your wood will look uh, like white. All your textures will be white. And it's because uh, for the Mac, there's not like a replace, like just add them in one as far as I know. So you have to do this all manually. And... There we are. I think I saw a hippo over there. Yeah, there, as you can see, the mod is working. But now I'm just going to show you guys for Mac users, just what you should do is download Optifine. I'll put the link in the description. And it just makes everything run quicker if you have a slow computer or anything. But it's a good mod that you should get. It just makes the rendering quicker and faster. So as you can see before, it was really laggy. And you could also add single player commands. Also, the link will be in the description. Just drag all these. Actually, yeah, just drag all of these except for the world edit and the readme. Just drag them all in there and replace. Now, open up Minecraft. Just clean this up real quick. Log in. As you can see, everything works. And we should still have. <clears throat> I just like to put mine on tiny rendering. Alright. It's a little laggy right now because I'm recording also. But there it is, and I'll quickly show you that Pokemobs works with it. Alright, let's just show Pokemobs really quick. You put the Pokemobs in, it'll ask you if you would like to change the IDs of them, so just go ahead and do that and just give them all unique IDs. Let's hope it works. And there are the Pokemobs, and here is a robot. As you can see, they work together. And there's a little boy. Might as well do what Sly did. Huh. All right, guys. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if this helped at all. Feel free to leave that like. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Going to probably be out. Peace.